Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of In the Field with Sarge. Recently, I've had a bunch of subscribers ask me about store-bought fire starters, and are they any good? Do they have any benefit? And, you know, there were so many different questions. I figured, okay, what I'll do is I'll run around to all the hardware stores, the local grocery stores, your, you know, your Wally World, all of that, and see what they have as far as a solid fire starter. I'm not talking about gels or stuff that you light with a ferro rod or anything like that. Just a typical charcoal or wood fire starter that can be lit with a lighter quickly and efficiently and get a fire going. And what are the benefits and one of the drawbacks? Now, of course, we all know that I like the cotton rounds and the petroleum jelly. Um, that's what uh, I learned from uh, Justin Sylvester, and it's good in the woods. Prior to that, I mixed a concoction of Vaseline, uh, cotton fibers, wax, and uh, popsicle sticks, and put them all in a little tiny Ziploc bag and uh, kept those and just lit the bag, and that was my fire starter. But the problem is those things are messy. Even these get messy sometimes. If you make a bunch of them, put them in a Ziploc bag, and, you know, the weather gets hot, or, you know, you have to stick your hand in there, they leach that Vaseline, and, of course, dirt sticks to Vaseline. So, you know, they, they all have their drawbacks, they all have their pluses, but most of these are relatively identical depending upon the concoction. Um, in these solid starters, they use paraffin wax, uh, some wood product, either a particle board or, you know, sawdust, things like that. Uh, and some of them will even come with a little bit of kerosene in them. Um, the ones that tout there that they're all natural, it's just wax and wood. Um, over prolonged time, that kind of stuff in your stacks, of course, could cause an issue. But if you follow your stack or your manufacturer's recommendations on how you maintain your stack, you shouldn't really have any problem because you're not using a lot of these and it's not going to give it a chance to build up anything over time. But let's take a closer look at some of these that I just found locally at the general store. Um, like I said, they're pretty much priced alike. They're all different in some sites, subtle, subtle way that might, you know, benefit you or your mission or your loadout or how you like to do things, okay? Um, so the first one we're going to look at is the Coleman Fire Starters. It's these guys right here. Very small, very compact. A box of 12 of these costs about $4.99 U.S. Um, they're rather interesting because each one, as you can see, if I can get it out of the box, there we go. Each stick uh, is in a plastic bag and you break it off and you light it and uh, that's how you get your fire starting going. Um, this one is pretty much, I believe, just sawdust and wax. Um, it might have a little bit of lighter fluid in it. Um, it doesn't really say much. It says lights even when wet. Uh, and we might even test that later on. Um, but they are non-toxic. Uh, they're odorless and they're great for indoor use. Uh, I don't know why you would use it indoors. I guess to maybe light a fire in your fireplace. But there's a box of 12. For four dollars and ninety-nine cents each, comes out to about forty-two cents a piece. There's just twelve of them. Great for a weekend campout. Yeah, sure. You know. All right. Now the next one we're going to do is the Diamond Strike a Fire. Okay. This says uh, uh, it's a fire starter that strikes like a match. It burns for 12 minutes, no need for fluids, lighters, or kindling, and lights easily and quickly. And these are actually really, really good for charcoal. All of these are. Um, they recommend that you use two of them. If you don't like the taste of lighter fluid in your food that you usually get, these are really great to use. Okay. Now, what's great about these is there's eight of them in a box. Okay. It's 
about three dollars and ninety nine cents for the box uh, and that comes out to about 49 cents each and they say they burn for about 12 minutes now they all look like a big match I don't know if you can see that I'll, I'll open it up and show you let me get it out and here's a few of them you break one off and now it's like a match and on the back of the box it's a striker well, that's if you want to try to light these what I usually do is I'll put them under my my wood and then I'll light it with a lighter and it'll go for there from there um, this is like a press board with wax in it um, so it works they work fairly well all of them work really well work about the same I don't think any of them will burn any hotter than the other some might burn longer uh, which is great for wet wood um, but that's that one right now the next one is is kind of interesting because it's the the Pine Mountain Extreme Start. Now it's the most expensive of all of them. It's also the most bulkiest. Um, and I'll show you what they look like. I've already tried a few of these, but it's a big heavy stick, and they came with the end open. I'm going to try to find one that's totally sealed, and then we'll test with that. But all of them came like that from what I can tell um, the a box of 12 of these is about uh, seven dollars comes out to about 58 cents a piece they are kind of big they are kind of bulky and they do burn really really slow um, so we're gonna see if we can find one that we can test and we'll go from there with that one I was rather disappointed that they came like that from the store. They might have been sitting up on a shelf for a while. I don't really think it's going to affect the performance of them, but I will try to get one that's sealed. Now, the next one I kind of like um, because they it's all natural. Uh, it's the Master Built Fire Starters. A box of 48 of these runs for about $12.25 US, so it comes out to about $0.26 cents each, and it's probably the cheapest of all the ones that I found. Um, and all it really is is particle board and wax. Um, they're clean, they're odorless, and they break off into pieces like this. And they're, they're, they burn for a rather long time. The thing that they didn't mention is, yes, the, the, the wood that they use is also rather green. So it has a lot of sap in it. And that's also a, a, a bonus uh, for your burn, your burn time. And, of course, the longer it burns, the better you are with wet wood or green wood. Okay? So now we have the next one, which is the Duraflame. Uh, the fire starting cubes and they come in a big box like this let me see if I get you in frame okay and they look like little miniature Duraflame logs it comes in a neat little packet like this you light the packet and put it in your fire um, these are great they do have a little bit of kerosene in them they run for about six dollars and forty nine cents US um, which comes out to about 36 cents each but Duraflame does recommend that you use two of these I've never had to but they do they recommend that you use two so it's a, it's a good little uh, fire starter if you want to use them and then of course we have the zip premium fire starter and the zip natural fire starting cubes which I'm going to do the natural ones first which are these guys okay comes in a box of 24 for five dollars and 95 cents US it comes out to about a quarter a piece uh, what's cool about these is if you still want to use a ferro rod or a flint and steel or you know any of that it does have one portion of the cube that is kind of fuzzy okay and you can use that to uh, the, uh, with your ferro rod. A lot of these I guess you could too, but you can see the two different layers. This stuff you can kind of pull in the fibers and uh, get that going. 
Now these are supposedly all natural, so they're just sawdust and uh, wax. Um, does say it's good for indoor or outdoor use. Uh, it's great for grilling. They recommend that you use two as well. Okay, and we'll see how they burn. They say for up to 12 minutes, so we'll see. Uh, most of these will far surpass that. Now, also, Zip makes the uh, premium all-purpose fire starter, which is the same thing, but it's got a little bit of kerosene in it. You light the bag. It's convenient. It keeps this stuff dry, you know. Um, and another one, that it burns for 18 minutes. And of course, we have the petroleum jelly, which is the cheapest. It comes out to pennies a piece. You know, you come up with 80 of these, which means you can make 40 fire starters out of this. And you have more than enough Vaseline to, uh, to definitely get the job done. So, those are just the ones that I found. There are many, many, many more out there. Um, like I said, they're all practically the same. Um, which it's just a matter of finding one that suits you or that you like to use uh, and you can incorporate that into your game plans. Now what I'm going to do is once the wind dies down we'll get set up and we'll give all of these a little bit of a burn test. We'll see how long they burn for, how hot they burn and uh, you can make your decisions on if you want to use stuff like this or go to the old fallback. So there you have it. Alright so let's try to get some of these fired up. And then we'll put a timer on them and we'll see how long they burn for. Uh, while we're at it, we'll also check temperatures. And of course, I've got the homemade Vaseline inside two cotton rounds, which I learned from Justin Sylvester. It's good in the woods. Check out his channel. He's awesome. But I used to use cotton balls with wax and Vaseline and put them in little Ziploc bags but this is more convenient and of course it, it's pennies to make like 40 of them you know big jar of Vaseline and a big container of the cotton rounds alright let's go so we're gonna light these up get them cooking They all light real quickly with this little handheld torch. Let me get you out of the way. And of course that's the match that I just set the index card on fire with. All right, so there you go. As you can see, some of them are really, really smoky and we'll go ahead and we'll get the timer going I don't know if you can see that but we've got it going so it looks like the zip premium this guy here and this guy here the Duraflame are very 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 smoky But all of them seem to fire up, I believe, except the extreme starts. Having a little slow start. This one was supposed to get both sides of it lit, so in all fairness, we'll let it go. I'm not very impressed with these. But there we go. Now, as far as temperature goes... It's telling me 700 degrees. I'm assuming all of these are going to be about the same. Actually not. This one was at 353. The Vaseline and cotton is at 600. The Duraflames are at 500. So they're all roughly within a couple of hundred degrees of each other. But they're all burning at the same rate. Except the extreme fire start. So we're going to count him out. Yeah, it keeps wanting to go out. So for the money already, I know the Pine Mountain isn't going to do it. 
as you can see some of the index cards have caught fire from the heat you can smell a lot of kerosene all the ones that are enclosed in little packages have kerosene in them right now you can see a little little oil okay in a fire that would be burning okay so that kind of seeps down you can see the Vaseline one too but they're all burning quite consistently and hot except for the Pine Mountain extreme start and I had such high expectations for them now the extreme start seems to be burning rather slow but I bet you it'll give you a long burn time and with wet wood or even green wood that might be a bonus but to me it's just barely hanging on some of these are just out of control hot now the master built fire starters so far have been burning the hottest the all naturals are coming in the second interesting so it seems like the kerosene ones burn a little bit cooler um, but of course they're waterproof and they catch fire real quick the all natural ones the master built and the zip all naturals um, seem to uh, burn a lot hotter by a couple of hundred degrees than the rest of them but again it's still consistently a flame and now we're just seeing how long they actually burn for so we're coming up on about 10 minutes all right so right now the Vaseline and cotton rounds have gone out the store-bought ones are still burning and look like they're doing really well the Coleman looks like it's getting ready to burn itself out here shortly but look at the oil and wax residue that's leaking out of the diamond strike a fire there on the end you know all of that goes in you know burns so it's like you know putting burning wax uh, right on your fire it just seeps into everything and gets everything lit coming up now at right around 15 minutes all right so the Coleman fire starters are just about gone out now the zip premium this guy right here claims that it burns for 18 minutes the strike a fire on the end the diamond strike a fire those claim to burn for 12 minutes um, and we're beyond that looks like the extreme start is starting to carry on itself now so it's a little bit harder to light but there's so much material there to burn so heavens knows how long it'll burn for the master built natural fire starters they seem to have burned the hottest and you can see by the level of the flames some of them are at their end okay the zip naturals finally uh, looks like it's just about over the strike of fire looks like it's about over the master built they're starting to go and we're right now we're coming up on 17 minutes and it looks like the master built's finally died and the diamond strike of fire is going out okay we're almost at 18 or 19 minutes so you know if I were to choose which one would be the better I would say they're all effective um, you know now it's a matter of suiting which one for your style or your mission or whatever you're going out into the field to do if you have the space some of these are rather large and other ones are rather compact some you can make while you're out there so it's just a matter of preference so I'm not even gonna pick one they all cost about the same some come with more than others you know it, it's just a matter of what your preference is and what they sell locally all right so it looks like we're down to the zip premium fire starter and the pine mountain extreme start even though the extreme start was hard to start to me it just looks like a little mini duraflame log um, and that's probably what it is is just sawdust and wax with a little bit of kerosene mixed in and by the size of it I'd guess that thing would burn over 30 minutes but I don't foresee the need if if you can't get your fire going in 30 minutes you know then it's time to reevaluate the uh, nature of the situation you're in 
So the basic analogy is, is if the individual fire starter comes in a wrapper, it'll burn probably longer. The ones that are all natural, uh, that don't come in a wrapper, will burn hotter if they're dry. Um, but they don't last as long. So it, like I said, it all depends upon your own preference and your mission. You know, if you're going to be in an environment where your wood is going to be slightly wet, you know, some of these longer burning ones might be the ticket. You know, um, if you've got places there, the, the wood is fairly dry. The uh, all-natural ones that don't come in an individual wrapper probably work for you, too. So I think from what I could see on our stopwatch that we're at 23 minutes. All right. And then I'm not going to bore you watching the last one burn. So uh, I'll just put it up at the end of the video. I'll let you know how long it exactly burned for. Even though it did, you know, take a little bit to get it going and all of that. On the whole, it's, it's still cooking away. And I think it's got plenty of fuel to keep going for a little bit. So there's 35 minutes. Still going. All right, so here we are. We're coming up on almost 40 minutes. Okay, my biggest concern about this one at this point now is the amount of wax and kerosene that it gives off. Of course, it's not going to be enough. I mean, it's safe to use indoors and all of that. But in my stack of my stove, I don't know if I'd want to use something that big. For starting a campfire, that would probably be fantastic. But for using it to start a fire in your stove, I don't know, that might be just a little bit too much. All right, so here we are at 43 and a half minutes, and a little bit of a gust of wind came through and it blew it out. Looks like there's plenty of fuel in there to still burn for another 15 minutes, I would say. So roughly an hour great for a campfire um, you could probably get away with cutting them in thirds or even smaller but at the most expensive per piece um, to me it just doesn't make any difference really that length of time is way way too long to get a fire started unless your wood is really really wet but um, there are ways around that, how to get dry wood and all that. If you're processing your wood right, you should be able to get some and get it started with one of these other ones with no problem. But that, to me, seems like a little bit of an overkill. On, you know. But like I said, each situation is different. Each, uh, each mission and what the requirements are, space and weight in your pack and all of that all comes into consideration. But, you know, there you have it. To me, they're all about the same. They just slightly differ in a couple of different ways, but nothing that makes any one of them any better. I still prefer the cotton round and the Vaseline. To me, I could pack it down, but yes, it does get messy, so some of these would work great, as long as you can keep them dry for the all-natural ones, and then the ones in the package, you have to, you know, deal with the bulk of them all. So there you have it. If you like my content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and share me around like a bad cold. And remember, love one another out there.